Colin, you just finished your first home base training session, a, a great initiative to obviously get more Women's National League players involved with the Women's National Team. Yeah, we want to try and open the door and widen that spectrum for the players, give them an opportunity to come into Abbottstown and train then with National Team players. Um, prove themselves to me but we're also opening the door for underage players as well uh, we left the under 17s out because they've just had a camp in uh, the Czech Republic and we left the under 19 girls out because they'll be doing a camp with Dave Connell uh, quite soon but that that door will be open for our underage players as well um, yeah and we just want to try and increase the quality of the training the intensity of the training and like I say increase the pool of players that, that, that I have it's such an important week as well. It's been a busy time for you, obviously, been away with the under 17s, but now going towards Northern Ireland, I suppose the excitement really is building. Yeah, now, you know, being back, uh, I had a good time with the under 17s, although it was a tough one. Um, and now we're looking forward to getting into camp on Wednesday. Now it's nice to, to you know, to be able to greet some of the girls, Karen, uh, Anya, um, Amber, Claire Walsh, for example, they'll be in the squad. Uh, so that was nice to see them this evening and then just waiting for the girls then to come in on Wednesday afternoon and then uh, have a session then in the high performance gym to start off with and then we'll be on the pitch and doing our preparation then for a really tough match here against Northern Ireland. Tyler Toland, Amber Barrett and Claire Walsh all new additions to the, the, this, squ uh, this squad but I suppose that's a great uh, initiative for those players who aren't in your squad to show that, that that door is open. Yeah we need to, you know, to increase the competition of, uh, for the places and uh, that it's not a given that I'm going to be nominated so it means again more training, it means uh, good performances in their clubs, it means obviously me monitoring their progress um, and obviously the girls are coming in, uh, that they really do take their chance. So we've got Tyler coming in because she did very well for the under 17s, that's again another signal, um, if you're good enough uh, I don't really matter, it doesn't really matter how old they are. So Tyler's coming in and I hope she really pushes um, and, and has that attitude and that, uh, that drive that she wants to play. And, uh, you know, if she does well, then that's uh, obviously a great chance, just like everybody else. But I want to increase this competition for places. We need that. We need that winning mentality um, because it's going to be a tough campaign for us. But we're at the start and, uh, you know, I'm looking, of course, for this campaign to do as well as, as we can, to progress as much as we can, but also, uh, you know, to, to set ourselves up for the next coming years that we really do have a good crop of young girls on the verge and we need to give them the chance to play. Thank you.